What's up, fans? Keeping it candid with Candace. We are here in Indy for the 2023 Combine. You see it, Lucas Oil Stadium. That is a big deal. These gentlemen in here are at the biggest job interview of their life. We are hoping for healthy performances and star-studded ways that these guys can change their lives. Again, keeping it candid with Candace in Indy. This is Candace Davis Price. We are here keeping it candid with Candace. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Jaron Hall. Candace Davis Price here. Who am I standing here with? Tay Banks. Tay Banks, where are you from? Baltimore. So, like, that's where the wire is, right? Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Candace Davis Price. I ran into Maddie Smith. He's going to give us a little bit about his experience here at the Combine. Why don't you tell us where you're from? Grand Rapids, Michigan, man. Uh, played at Michigan. So why don't you tell these scouts why they should choose you? What you gonna bring to that NFL locker room and to that field? I uh, bring toughness, bring some grit, bring some enthusiasm, bring aggression, violence, everything you want from a football player. A lot of the typical questions are about your physical attributes, but you said you gained a lot spiritually, mentally, being able to move yourself. How do you think that will, you know, maybe lengthen your career in that? Yeah. Effect? I think, you know, being able to, to get away with whether it's hobbies or it's faith, just something that, that gives you a center in life outside of football, I think allows you when you're in the building and you're doing football to have a clear conscience. What element, attribute can you bring to that locker room that other guys can't? Outside Positive of your attitude. Positive attitude. Always. I'm just a fun guy, so like people don't want to be around me. All right, we're here with Tay. We're so glad that he took some time. He's a real one. He's from um, Baltimore. Baltimore. Yes, gritty, sir. gritty. That's yes, what sir. it is. Thank you for your time Thank today. You. Candace Davis Price here. We are in Indianapolis for the 2023. NFL Combine, and we are nearing the end. We were able to catch up with Brad Holmes of the Detroit Lions and see what he thought they needed to fit their locker room. I know you and Dan Campbell are all about the culture, a playoff push. What is what is the culture of your locker room looking like right now? Well, we just have a culture in place that people can really thrive in. And, you know, you always want to look at it from a leadership standpoint, you know, what is really the culture? Well, it's, you know, what are your values? Who are you really as a person from a leadership standpoint? And can you bring that to life? Detroit Lions have eight picks in this draft. Yes, you heard me, eight picks, two in the first round. We were able to catch up with Dan Campbell to see what his strategy is going on to draft day. I would say we're, we're not afraid to acquire talent, even if we feel like we have a couple of people already in that position. What's up, Malik? Good to see you again. Saw you at the NFL PA game. Big deal right now. And congratulations on being invited here. We're here with Brad Robbins, another Michigan guy, but not a true Michigan Watt guy. Where are you from? I'm from Columbus. You heard it. He's from the school down south, but we don't judge him. Candace Davis Price, 2023 Combine, Indianapolis. It has been a pleasure. Thank you for joining me for this exclusive on the Detroit Lions. It's not every day that you get to stand next to someone who is a world champion athlete. She took home the silver medal at the track and field world championships in the 100 meter hurdles. She also coaches the next generation of athletes and champions. You may also have seen her at the NFL Combine doing reports this year. Please welcome my guest host, world champion athlete, Candace Davis Price. <laughs> Being a world-class athlete prepared me for everything outside of that. Um, I was very fortunate to have incredible coaches. The USA team is incredible, but we are the hardest team in the world to make. Mm. The moments before you step on the track is like the Hunger Games. So you're in this area, they got the fastest women in the world, oh eight gosh. of us in a small space, and it feels like right before they drop them off on Hunger Games. Oh my break, God. That's what that moment oh feels my like. God. For sure, we're talking about NAIA. So just to give a little bit of history, NCAA is what your traditional Power Five school, like a Michigan, Michigan State. Okay. NAIA is going to be a little bit of a smaller type school. So their resources are what they got. Inside. 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 Inside Exclusive. Information. It's really the mentoring ship. Um, the first one, my coach that passed away asked me to come on. I was like, I was still that selfish athlete. I was training for the Olympics myself, very focused on on my dreams and my ambitions. And then I had one athlete who ended up breaking one of my records and my heart literally me melted. Um, that lady went on to Don't Judge Me, Ohio State, had a full ride scholarship <laughs> and um, she just graduated from college. Also, I was pretty impressed because I'm a girl mm. and girl, that face is, the, it, it's a yeah. little different. And now this is a, a girl, you know, it's always kind of a push. Oh, you run like a girl. You should run like a girl. That's right. I'm gonna teach if you, you how to run like this girl you right like here, this girl, you're, you're gonna, doing something right. You won't be eating ramen noodles at school, That's okay? Right. Go to summer destination. Right. Summer Michigan's hand down. You got the lakes, you got the beach, we got festivals, we got food. We got all types of stuff. Uh, to be honest, I gotta give a shout out. Ypsilanti, Michigan is where I'm from, but Ann Arbor is where I grew up. And I traveled all over the world and Ann Arbor just got a little bit of everything. everything. It gives you that balance and it doesn't have an LA price tag. That part. 
So what is your favorite uh, bakery item? Definitely croissants? Definitely croissants. The almond are sweet, but then I could even do like a croissant and throw in some like chicken salad on it yes. or anything like that. So I, I love that soft, fluffy feel. Love me a good food truck rally. And I didn't know about this, so. Okay. I said over 80 vendors. I think I might have to book my schedule. And then the idea of, you know, those semi-arguments when you're trying to go out to eat and no one can ever decide on exactly. what they want. Exactly. That, and it goes from morning to afternoon. So you're talking about breakfast, brunch, and dinner. <laughs> and that's why people love baseball. It's difficult to watch baseball on TV because uh -huh. you can only see a little bit, but when you're right. there, the elements, and then Comerica Park, super, super dope. Not surprised about Traverse City. They've been knocking out the park. Yeah. No pun on the Tigers, but they've been knocking out the park. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite Martha Reeves song? With Whoopi Goldberg, when she was a nun. Oh, um, when whenever I'm with, with you, something inside. Yeah, it was, yeah, on, that it was on Sister Act. <laughs> I wanted to see J, I wanted to see J Lo. Okay, so J Lo was, too. I would definitely love to see J Lo. I feel like that's totally her element. She's yeah. like a true entertainer. You want to see Rihanna? I want to see Rihanna. Oh yeah, she's true, a true entertainer. But I am seeing Anita Baker. Um, I remember cleaning the house Saturday morning. Yes. Uh, giving you the best that I've got. got. Yeah, you finished that. <laughs> You're Harry Potter. You're ha Harry Potter, and I'm like, are you gonna be punishing your kids with wizard spells? Like, <laughs> you can't talk that if you're Harry Potter, right? <laughs> well, you know, the pandemic really helped me. I watched all of the, the Marvel series, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened here? And people were like, that happened years ago. I'm like, it's new to me. <laughs> so the idea of waiting until 2024, that could be a little rough. I'm guilty. Shots and everything. I'm guilty, here. absolutely. There's just something about an animal in the void that it, it gives you that you're like, there's no cost. Um, and I have kids too, and there's like, uh, wipe that off, grab a band-aid, get the peroxide. I'm a barefooter. I like to be barefoot all the time. Um, you know, I coach track, and the kids are all about the gibbets and the style, and I fell victim to it. And um, all-terrain crocs are my thing. They got a little bit of grip. They got a little bit more style. Just absolutely the grades. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like art, recess, lunch, nailing those. <laughs> But if you're talking about Kill a Mockingbird, my mom is not going to be happy if I'm bringing home a C in anything. No. So it, it is a balance, but I'm glad they're entertaining this. Something's just got to evolve. The talented muralist designer has collaborated with the Detroit Pistons on some one-of-a-kind pieces. As April Morton explains, her work has even been recognized by a famous Detroiter. There will be over 50 local small businesses, and many of which are women-owned, which I'm super excited about. Yeah. So can you talk about your experience at Wayne State and how they probably prepared you to get on this stage? From food to fashion and beyond, there's even a special event at Eastern Market that will shine light on, on all that Detroit has to offer. Got it with this hat, though. This hat is where it's hey. really at. Oh, yeah. it looks really Really nice, yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, we have tons of those. Who's on the phone with us right now? It is Jonathan Blake from New Baltimore. That's right. Congratulations and thanks for being with us. Yes. Jonathan, you say you're a proud dad of a nine-year-old and a two-year-old, and you're getting married in June. Congratulations. Your family enjoys parks, beaches, the zoos, and you have talked about your pets. You even have a pig. So we're so excited to have you on Live in the D this week. Are you having a good time so far? I'm having a blast. And then I get genuine experiences, but now the secret's yeah, out, so I'm coming. Yeah, it's, we're it's, going it's, everywhere together. Okay. <laughs>